Maybe you're aware of the fact that we once actually developed our own product. We thought that we were really onto something and that we will become rich and maybe even famous with it. But when we launched it, it was a total bust. With the help of Design Sprints, we've learned a lot about what makes products successful. Not only by learning from our own product, but also by learning from the dozens and dozens of concepts that we helped to create over time. I'm Tomek and I'm Head of Training at Neon Sprints. Our mission is to empower teams to develop successful products faster. For that purpose, we use design sprints, but also other methods that we've learned over the last 15 years that focus on making teams successful and with that, creating successful products. So, you might ask yourself, what makes a product successful? Let's talk about that. So, when you look for that online and you search for it, you will find a lot of experts online providing you with extensive lists of criteria telling you if you meet this criteria, you'll end up with a successful product. For me, there was always something missing. That's why I decided to make this video. I want to share with you our experiences and learnings, not only from our own failed product, but also from all the concepts that we were part of developing with the help of Design Sprints. So here we go, in five steps to a successful product. Let's make it a checklist. Step number one, start with a relevant problem. So, first learning of the day, have a relevant problem. Most of the people, when they start developing products, they start with an idea. That's fantastic. But is it an idea that solves a problem for your customers? This is something that we frequently forget to ask ourselves. So, the hint is, start with a relevant problem and fall in love with your problem. It is supposed to be hard if you ask yourself. Fall in love with your problem. Use experts to pin down the actual problem rather than discussing solution ideas with them. And take time for it, define it properly. It will help with developing the right product afterwards. And that was exactly the same thing we did with our own product, FinGym. FinGym was all about bringing simple and easy financial education to German people so that they take their own financial management in their own hands. Seemed very reasonable, and a lot of people told us that it's a great idea. When we launched it though, nobody used it. That was Tony. Why? Because we weren't tackling the actual problem. Later on, when we started working with Design Sprints on our own product, we started to use experts to actually pin down the problem. And then we started to talk to financial advisors, bank employees, people that dealt with financial management on a daily basis, and most of them told us that in the beginning of any discussion or conversation that they would have with a customer regarding their finances, they would always ask about what are your short, medium and long-term goals for your finances. And a lot of people did that. Hey, what happened? I have no idea. People seem to struggle with finding any kind of financial goals for themselves. That was a huge aha moment for us. Why? Because we seem to have a relevant problem. However, there was even a bigger problem before that one, and that was finding personal financial goals in general. Therefore, most of the people lack the motivation to deal with their finances in the first place, which for us was a big game changer and meant that we had to go into a dramatically different product solution than what we thought before. So first learning is step number two, have a specific target group and be very clear about who 
this group is. Why do you need a specific target group? Because in order to learn and iterate from your prototypes, you need to have a similar set of people. With FinGym, we thought we can serve everyone. Financial management is a big problem, so we thought we would have a bigger market share if we used it for everybody. So we thought 38 million Germans will be our customers because everybody needs good and easy financial management. It quickly became way too complex and we wanted to achieve way too much with it. Later, we decided to target a more specific group with a set of criteria. 35 plus, higher income, first financial topics already sorted, wanting to take the next steps and looking for peers to figure out how they solved that particular challenge. Suddenly, it became all clear. We had a target group with specific problem and with a specific task at hand. It doesn't mean that your product won't work for other target groups. But at that particular stage, it will help you to focus and get traction. So, learning number two is to have a specific target group, meaning rather than trying to focus on everyone at one point in time, pick the right group. Step number three, make life noticeably simpler and easier for your customers. And once you've done that, make it even delightful for them. I don't think I'll have space enough for step four and five. With FinGym, our idea was that every customer should spend five minutes of their time every day with their money. To become more aware of their money routines and build up routines and the light went off and maybe that's it, no. Our idea with FinGym was that every customer should spend five minutes a day with their money to become more aware of their money habits and to learn building routines with their finances. Sounds relevant and pretty simple, right? Well, it did complicate things rather than make them simpler, as it turned out afterwards. It kind of felt like going back to school and nobody really wants to go back to school, even for five minutes a day. It became easier for us once we figured out that our target group was primarily seeking out their peers to ask for their experiences with particular financial challenges and to set with that their own financial goals. It was something that we worked with. People that wanted to build a house, for instance, or buy an apartment would try to find someone and ask them things like, so how did you go about this? How did you even start the whole thing in the first place? How did you get all the money for it? What were the challenges? What to pay attention to? What are the pitfalls that I need to watch out for? We knew that we needed to build something where our customers could use the experience of like-minded people to inspire themselves. Rather than figuring out who to go to and who to ask about a particular challenge, they would have a go-to source where they would be able to find immediate information that they were looking for, which was based on peers' experience. That was a second game changer for us, and it led to traction. We finally knew that we were on the right track. If you find a relevant target group for you, it will become easier for you to figure out how they solve their problems today and what's missing for them right now when they're solving them and how you can do it better with your product. With Design Sprints, you can use prototyping exactly for that purpose, to figure out what would be the most relevant and problem-solving solution for your customers that hopefully will make their lives easier. Third learning, make your customer's life easier and more delightful.
Step number four, provide a reason for customers to keep coming back. In order to create a sustainable business, you need to have returning customers. That's why we said you need a specific target group to start with. You need to make sure that you quickly create an offering where you have heavy users that keep coming back and giving you immediate feedback. With Fingem 1.0, we thought we had that with our five minute daily routine. Wrong. What we had was what we wanted the users to do and not what the users actually wanted to do. With FinGym 2.0, we created a content hub where we put topics on financial management. We created it over time and as we went along, added new topics to it. We tracked our own content in order to understand which topics were relevant for our target group and which were not so interesting for them. Based on that, we've adjusted our content plan and continuously developed our offering further. We also saw what elements were drawing other target groups to our FinGen. With that, we continuously better our product. So, lesson number four is to make sure that you have returning customers and provide them with the relevant input. Here's your customer. And here is something that is relevant for them. <laughs> Last but not least, step number five. Grow your business by word of mouth. And make sure you have pens that actually open. You know that you're on the right track when people start sharing or recommending your product or your offering. When you've reached that stage, paid advertising should only be there to boost your success. So work hard on your product, listen to your customers, remember, Net Promoter Score is the metric for you to use in order to better your product as long as your customers start recommending and sharing it with others. Short and sweet, step number five is to make sure that you grow your product by word of mouth. Wrong page. Okay guys, I was just talking to you about how to get to a successful product in five steps. Here is a quick rundown on those five steps. First one was to make sure that you fall in love with your problem. Remember that. Second one is to make sure that you have a specific target group that you work with from the very beginning. Third one is to make sure that your product or offering actually makes your customer's life easier or even more delightful. Fourth one is to create a customer base of returning customers who help you with their immediate feedback to iterate your product and make it even better. And finally, step number five, make sure that your product or offering is actually being recommended or shared by your customers so that your primary growth option is worth of mouth. If you like this video and you would like to learn more or you would like to see more of Neon Sprint's videos, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, feel free to join our free Facebook Product Masterminds group. We will be happy to answer any of your questions. You will find the link below this video. See you next time.